Hello, please hear me. Just hear me out. We have a serious problem in our hands in the society. I got a quite disturbing, disturbing story. And as a matter of fact, something that I cannot at this juncture go without asking questions. Check out these young boys. 17 years old, 19 years old, 20 years old. One of them lured the innocent girlfriend to an uncompleted building and right there, they did not just kill this girl, they also beheaded her. And most horrifying, they were there cooking the head. Most people say in the name of ritual. And if you see what is happening in the recent time in our society, where some people will even be kidnapped, quite unlike what it used to be, they kidnap and demand for money. But today, people will be kidnapped, and when you hear about the outcome, it will be that it was rather for a ritual purpose. Where could this kind of a thing, what could be said to be the origin of this? No, 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 no. I, I don't get to understand what is actually in the head. Who led them to this? How did this come about? It's a major question we are going to ask today. And I will tell you, most people will say, this is demon. It's a demonic possession. I will tell you something that logically, listen to me. What you are seeing here is not spirit. It didn't start with spirit. These young boys are as innocent as they were born like other children. But one unique thing I want you to understand, in comparison of male children and female children, the frontal part of the brain of a male child has been found to grow slower, slower than that of the females. What is the implication therefore? It is the frontal brain that actually makes somebody to have a sense of judgment and also have analysis of the consequences of that particular action. But in young boys, it tends to grow slower than that. That's why you find out that in most of the cases, you see these young people going into, into drugs, into killings, a lot of violence and risk actions, not imagine the consequences of their action. It is on that platform that God said, train a child in the way he should grow. The way he grows, he will not depart from me. Have you ever wondered why most men children after the age of 25, 30, they hardly go into certain vices they never started from the beginning? Because at that point, their sense of judgment and analysis of the consequences of their actions has become to... That's why most times he say, my father told me not to do this. I will tell you something that today, lack of parenting, I'm not talking about now biological alone, because in our society today, we have biological parenting, we have now spiritual fathers and spiritual mothers, we also have traditional fathers that we call your men, my son, as they are making progress. Now let me be in position to tell you the origin of this. One occasion, my son came back from school. I opened his bag and I saw what I knew I never bought for him. And what happened? I asked him, how did you come about this? He said, no, daddy, no, 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 no. I don't know how he came in there. I flogged him. Why? To add to his judgment. That when he's coming back from school some other time, he will take his back to know whether his spirit has put something that he shouldn't bring home. But today, what do we have? We have a situation where you have your son. Hey, listen to me. You have your son. Your son, all of a sudden, we buy a car. We buy one thing. Bring one big thing and come in and you are celebrating. Today is no longer celebration. Majority of the parents today, what they have is initial celebration of their barrier. Because most of them have been found today to be the target of their own children. 
And I met him at something that had never been imagined. But he said, train a child in the way he will grow. I watched a comedy. It was a comedy, but something very serious. I couldn't be in position to ignore. And what was it? A mom was actually invited to the city by the son. And while she we were praying and praying, after praying, she went to the neighbor. I said to the neighbor, I'm going to see my son in the city. But if you people not hear from me, call me. And he went. It sounded like a joke. Not too long ago, a mom was invited by the son to the city. Innocently, she packaged whatever she was to go and give to the son in the city. Unknown to her that the son had already prepared a poor where she will, where he will use the mom for ritual. Something is wrong. I mean, something is wrong. Somewhere, somewhere. And look at this. If you hear the mom, look at this. The mom is thanking God after the struggle broke out the window and then the, the people got to see the violent action and came into the rescue of the woman. That's why I encourage every parent today. Don't rejoice. Don't rejoice too much. Over that kind of wealth, you can't explain what your son is doing and those things are coming. It may be a preparation for your burial because you will soon be a target if nothing is done now. My son, this guy you came back with, where did he come from? How did you make this money? He said, no, it is God. Tell him. Show me you are works by that your faith. That brought this. Men and women of God, we have a serious challenge today in our society. We all have our congregation. And in the number of vacation, we call them our sons. And these people will bring something to you. A member of your church, you know very well, this young man does not have anything clearly doing. As a matter of fact, doing nothing. All of a sudden, he will bring an offering. Oh, a breakthrough offering. One million, ten million. And you will say, my son, lay down. Man of God, woman of God, that is not your son. It's a son that is in societal cancer. And you may be a target one day. My son, lay down. Where you get this money from? Go back and get more. Hi. Can, has there not come to a point where we, we have men like Prophet Elijah that even no man he healed brought a gift, but because he despises God, he said, I don't need that your gift. And then no occasion where men like Simon the sorcerer brought money, brought money, brought money to Peter. He said, perish with your money. Not every gift is breakthrough. Not all our destiny help us. We need to come to that realization. We are so one. You know very well. My son, sit down. Where did you get this money? Now you get to understand. You are leading these people as a sheep, not to go astray. It is time for us to begin as a society, as men and women of God, to be able to ask our members. Where is this money coming from? Everything is not breakthrough. Everybody is, is not a Disney helper. Some of them could be a trial of your faith. To know how much you trusted this record to provide you genuine helpers in ministry. It's not anywhere it be, let it be. No. He said, if all these things we are celebrating today, if that is all we are hoping for, the Bible says we have all men most miserable. We have all men most miserable. His Highness, Majesty, the person you are giving a title, what is he doing? If we ask this question, this evil will not continue. Train a child in the way he will grow. That's a level he will reach. He will be able to make a right judgment. You know what? Let's hear her a little. I think you have a father. 
I think the Holy Spirit or a skin will give me a light. I think I'm a father. From her speech, you cannot know that this woman may be a God-fearing woman, perhaps may have been able to train this young boy in the way of God. But something happened. What brought about the change? Look at the son. In innocence, you can see. Innocence, you can see. What went wrong here? This will come another one. Evil communication corrupt good manners. We need to begin to realize the kind of communication we are delivering in our society today. What is evil communication? In our society today, all over the churches, you will be hearing, no, if you don't get money, if you are not, if you are not prosperous, you are not a child of God. Salvation is tied to how much and how, bre how much breakthrough you have. If it is not now, it is not God. We are laying the grace of patience, of perseverance, of endurance. It is vanishing in our society. It is vanishing in the church. And the young men and women are today celebrating criminality in the name of celebrity. Because you have to prosper. By this time tomorrow, you become a billionaire. How? We need to ask. You know why? Prophecy does not fulfill itself. Prophecy has to be tied with hard work, with integrity, with hard work and integrity to produce sustainable prosperity. Sustainable prosperity. One of God, Elijah prophesied. I said, by this time tomorrow, food will be one, one kubo. My friend, it only happened when a certain lepers took decision and determination to face challenges of life. And from their testimony were produced. It is not receiving, receiving today sweatless prosperity. It is killing our children. Look at this. What kind of spirit will you say that enter them? Communication. Is it not time we look at this, our diluted, diluted prosperity messages that has no place for hard work? And I stand to tell you, young man, if you like, kill all your family members. If this brain is not working, you will be poor. Don't be deceived. This young man killed 70 in his testimony. Young girls, young girls in William, take them somewhere, kill them, and then sell the past. He said them 600,000 according to him. And 600,000, you know what I mean? 670 lives. It's about 42. It's about 42 million. Do you know what? 42 million can buy you a brand new Land Cruiser. It can buy you a brand new Land Cruiser. And that is what people are being lured. He says it's Yahoo. He says it's this one. Yahoo Plus. My friends, it is time we all stand together to save our loved ones. If this is not come, Genuine relationship will not be found among young people again because nobody will be able to trust each other. You know why I'm talking there? We all have our young girls. We all have our young girls in different locations, in campuses, and in other. Share this message to them now. I encourage everybody now to share this very message to every youth you know, starting from your family members. Failure to do so. What will be communicated them out? You may be the first target. May that not be your portion. I encourage everyone. Share this now. In sharing this message, you may save someone who is already appointed to kill somebody that is very dear to you. No matter how secure you are, you have your children out there. Let us together fight this evil. Right from the root. Of protecting mainly our male children until maturity. God bless you as we build a healthy society for all of us.